today. Now, you put a mixture of apple cider vinegar, dish soap, and water into your fruit fly trap. Put the lid on, and here comes a fruit fly. Hmm, this looks like a nice apartment building. <laughs> Let me fly in here and see what this is all about. Oh, nice roomy apartments. Oh, look, they have a pool. Oh, it's so nice and refreshing. Wait, sticky. Wait, oh, glup. I can't get out. Glup, glup, glup. <laughs> No more home for the fruit flies because now they're in the drink and it's over. When that gets full, you simply pour that down the drain or dispose of it how you will. Put in a fresh batch of water, apple cider vinegar, and a squirt of dish soap, and you're off to the races. Sure, you could squirt all that in a bowl and leave it open on your countertop. Right. But Nancy, this looks so much nicer. It does. Nancy Bram Mueller is here and she's Hello, here from Plow and Hearth. We've got four different choices, yes, but I do. need to let our down homers know that already over 500 of these are gone. Wow. Well, smart customer. So if you're going to attract the fruit flies to fruit, let's have the fruit be shiny and gorgeous. Right. We'll begin here. This is the peach, is yes. that right? Mm hmm. Exactly. And then closest to you is the pear. Mm hmm. Then down front is the apple. And to the right is the pineapple. Now, all of this works in a very, very simple method. These lids come off. Mm -hmm. There's, there's a little, little, there's a little there. gasket, right, exactly. And you'll notice on the inside that there's a hole in the bottom. Now that's where the fruit flies are gonna come in. But then there's a little reservoir around the inside. If I turn it this way, it makes more sense. You can see the little reservoir inside. You fill around that hole with an equal mixture of your apple cider vinegar and water, and then you give it a little squirt of dish soap, right? Yes, exactly. Yeah. That makes it tacky. Mm -hmm. And then pop this back on. Right. And wait for the fruit flies. They are drawn to the apple cider vinegar aroma. Right, exactly. And when they fly into the little pool there, the dish soap they go up underneath. Grabs them mm -hmm. and holds them in the water. Right. And that's the end. That is the end. That's Goodbye, the end. fruit flies. And if you've <laughs> ever had an attack of fruit flies in your home, you bring in that fresh fruit, and then suddenly they're swarming everywhere. They're swarming oh, they're around everywhere the sink. they're everywhere like this. They're like this, <laughs> and you're right. like, this is in my house. That's what? Right. No. This is what it's all about. You need a tool to get rid of them. This yes. works like a charm. Exactly. And Plow and Hearth created these because they know we love to go to the farmer's markets or grow our vegetables and fruit out in our garden. And then we bring them inside. And what do we do? We put them on the counter so that they ripen, so that everybody has a fresh snack that's healthy to be able to get, you know, something very easily. But then, inevitably, those bananas go bad, the fruit goes bad, they start getting soft, and then you start seeing those fruit flies. You come down for your coffee, and what happens? You're looking, you're clapping, you're not yep. clapping for the fruit flies, you're trying to get rid of them, and they're so hard to get rid of. And so. when you clap your hands on them, then you have fruit fly <laughs> guts all over your hands. Right, exactly. Then you have to go wash, right? right. So, so this, this is, is so what much it's better. all about. Mm -hmm. So simple, so easy. These are going to measure about four to four and a half inches in height, mm -hmm. and about. Um, Actually, the tallest is up to six and a half inches. Right, that's probably the pear there yeah, or the pineapple. About five, up to five and a half inches in diameter. So all this coming together for you at a great price. We've already taken orders now of over 3,000 for the day and almost 1,000 now in this show. I love how these are brightly colored, I know. beautifully painted, mm -hmm. but they're designed to draw those fruit flies in and eliminate them. Exactly, so when you go to fill your fruit fly trap, a couple of uh, recommendations. Get rid of the bowl of fruit or whatever it is that you've got sitting out that is the original problem. Also, as you and I were talking, David, make sure to run that garbage disposal because how many times do you put things down in the garbage disposal? Don't Maybe let it run long enough. not ru let it run long enough. A little bit of fruit or vegetables are fermenting down in there, clean out your garbage can, take care of the original problems. Then you allow the fruit fly trap to do its job. So you make that mixture of one part apple cider vinegar, one part water, and a squirt of liquid dish soap. I just mix it up in a little bowl. Then you take the lid off of your fruit fly trap, tip it over sideways so it just kind of runs in there, doesn't go straight through. It's not going to be filled all the way. That hole is in the bottom so those fruit flies can go up inside there. So you're putting about a tablespoon or two in the bottom. They're little, they don't need a lot, right? Oh, look at this apartment building. Nice size <laughs> apartment. It's got a pool. The pool feels so good. Wait, it's sticky. Why can't it get out the water? What's going on? Glup, glup, glup. No more fruit flies. That's the end of it. We love the fact that fruit flies come in, but they don't come back out. Mm -hmm. And that's the best part. And if you've ever been plagued by these in the spring and summer and into the fall, you know what I'm talking about. And it's yes. miserable. And getting rid of them is a bear and a problem and just makes you say bad words. So this is what it's all about. Utilize this to really draw them in and eliminate them. 
and they'll and the more they smell it and the more they come in, the more quickly they'll meet their demise. When it gets full in there, just simply dispose of that, put exactly. fresh liquid in, and you're off to the races again. And it's again. reusable. And the nice thing is, you get it now, and you have it sitting out on your counter. It's an adorable piece just to have on your kitchen counter, whether it's near your sink, whether it's on your t kitchen table, or maybe your island, you have something at the ready. Because it's not really a matter of if, of if you're going to get fruit flies. It's really when. It's when. You really, you, uh, most people really do face that at one point or another. So you have something ready. You have the ingredients in your cabinet. Some people have told me that they use a little bit of red wine instead of apple cider vinegar if they don't happen to have that. Mm. Um, they don't drink much. You know, they're little yeah. tiny fruit flies. So and if they're they do not drink a little bit, it'll just make the whole demise <laughs> part make, happen more That's quickly. right. It makes them yeah. happy on their way out. Yeah. So you, I love all these different choices because they're so beautiful. They're brightly colored, as David mentioned. Here's our glossy gray, um, our gl glossy green peach. I mean, this pear. is a pear. Then we have our really pretty peach right there. And then in front of that, this is the only one that sort of has a hobnail design, a little bit different. There's that beautiful welcoming pineapple. And then next to that, we have our red apple. Really beautifully done. Now, this price will expire at end of day today. That's the whole idea of a today only price. You'll see it expire at the end of the day, which is going to be midnight Eastern time tonight. Mm -hmm. What you should also know is that this is free shipping and handling and three easy payments on your credit card. Brian, I believe that we use cue card tonight. That's four pay. Is that correct? Yeah, so if you decide you want to use your cue card on this tonight, you can get one additional easy pay. Very nice. Four easy payments, and of course, you're paying zero for shipping and handling. These are very, very popular. Now, for the day, we've taken orders for. Checking. 4,500 for the day, and in this show alone, over 2,000 now spoken for. Lots and lots of you are loving that big, bright red apple. The gorgeous pineapple, symbol of hospitality and welcome, at least to the fruit flies. And <laughs> right? then, of course, we've got the peach and the pear, but here's how it works. You just mix up your apple cider vinegar water and liquid dish soap, and then you tip your apple, your fruit fly trap sideways just to kind of let it go into that reservoir and not spill out the bottom. And then... Here come the fruit flies <laughs> inside to check out the new apartment building. They're happy there's a pool. They land in the water. This is so refreshing. It feels so good. Wait, sticky. Why can't it get out? I'm sinking. Glup, glup, glup. That's the end of the fruit fly. It is. And the more of them that comes in there, you know what? If one of them's cousin is in there, the other cousin's going to come in to see what happened to him. That's right. And meet the same fate. Right. Yes, it's all true. Don't miss out on this opportunity and look for ways to eliminate these pesky problems from your home because come spring and summer and into the fall, I find. Absolutely. The fruit flies are pretty plentiful and will cause you some problems. We're going to help you eliminate all that. Thank you so much, Miss Nancy. Thank you. Good to see you as always. Oh, because I'm comfortable. Hey, so still coming up, a 